Welcome to another What's New video for WorkNC 2019 R1. In this video, we will show you the bottom allowance for global roughing toolpaths. We have created a work zone with a global roughing toolpath. In the Toolpath Tolerances section, we have a new checkbox for bottom allowance. Activating the checkbox will allow us to enter in a value to be used for stock allowance on flat surfaces. This value can be greater or less than the stock allowance value. On flat surfaces, the bottom allowance will be respected. On vertical surfaces, the standard stock allowance will be respected. For angled surface, the stock remaining will be somewhere between the standard stock allowance and the bottom allowance. We used a bottom allowance of 2 mm, so set the cursor guide to 2. Let's look at the toolpath. Here we see the distance between the surface and tip of tool is 2 mm. Now, check the remaining stock on the side walls. We used a standard stock allowance of half a millimeter, so we will set the cursor guide to 0.5. Here, we see the distance between surface and side of tool is 0.5 millimeters. Now, let's look at the angled surfaces. We see the distance between the tool and surface is greater than 0.5, but less than 2 millimeters. Thank you for watching this What's New video for 2019 R1.